Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today's tutorial was actually inspired by Photobucket.com. I was just looking through Photobucket, looking through the pictures, and I found this image and I decided to try to duplicate it. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do today. So I'm going to minimize this and open up Adobe Photoshop CS5. I'm using CS5 today, but you guys could use pretty much any version that you want. So let's get started by clicking on File, New. And let's make it, let's make the width um, 1,280 pixels and the height 720 pixels. And press OK. You should get something like this. The first thing you want to do is make a gradient. So make sure that your foreground color is set to black and your background color is set to white. Select your gradient tool. It might be hidden under your paint bucket tool. Just click and drag out. Select your gradient tool. Let's start from the bottom. Click, hold shift, and go all the way to the top and let go and now you should have a gradient that looks like this next click on filter distort wave now we're gonna set the number of generators to about 10 and set the type to square and press OK now you should get something like this next double click on your background layer it's gonna unlock it press OK and then double click on it again now we're gonna add another gradient to this background layer so click on gradient overlay and click on the gradient and let's select a rainbow gradient these are already pre-installed into Photoshop all you have to do is click this little arrow select the spectrums and then it'll tell you if you want to replace it press OK and then you'll come up with the spectrums so just select the first one press OK let's switch the angle to zero um, and the blend mode to linear burn and then let's set the opacity at about 80% and press OK. Uh, I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to create a new layer now. Command Shift N if you're on a Mac or Control Shift N if you're on Windows. Press OK. And on this new layer, let's make another black to white gradient. So select your gradient tool and do the same thing. Click from the bottom, hold Shift and drag all the way to the top. And let go. Now we have this black to white gradient. I'm going to change the gradient or the, the layer mode, the blending mode of the layer uh, to soft light. And you should get something like this. This just makes the bottom of it a little darker and the top a little lighter. So it makes it look more shiny. Now the last thing we need to do is add some little squares. Let me show you really quick. As you can see there are little squares slash rectangles that are in the um, image. So we're going to do that by making a brush. So let's go to file, new and we're going to make a new image the width is going to be 50 and the height is going to be 100 and press ok now we're going to choose the paint bucket tool select the color black and just paint this in black and then we're going to go to edit define brush preset and press ok i've already made the brush i've already pre-made it so i'm going to press cancel once you made the brush click on the brush tool select the brush and then go to window and click on brush or F5 for the shortcut key and we're gonna mess with a couple of the settings let's click on brush tip shape and let's get started by making sure the size is at 100 pixels and I'm gonna set the spacing at about 350 next click on shape dynamics set the size jitter all the way up to 100 percent let's click on scattering set the scatter all the way up to a thousand percent the count to one and the count jitter to a hundred percent and next, you want to find your opacity jitter. I'm using Adobe Photoshop CS5, so it's labeled under transfer. It might not be labeled under transfer if you're using another version of Photoshop, uh, but just find your opacity jitter and set that up to 100%. And now we're set. So let's head back to this image, select the color white, make our brush a lot smaller, and then just go ahead and start clicking down. Actually, let me make a new layer first, Command, Shift, N, if you're on a Mac, Control Shift N if you're on Windows, press OK, and now use the brush tool and just click down. And as you can see, these random squares start appearing. And just keep doing this for the rest of the image. Almost done. Alright, and that looks about good. Once you have something like this, you could either leave them white or change the blending mode to something like overlay um, maybe even soft light would do so there you go that's it for this video tutorial this is octotuts.com and until next time i will see you guys later